What? Oh, hold on. Oh god. Oh god. I'll be right back. Stop it. <laughs> I don't need all that. Wow, wow, wow. Chat's down there. The alert box is still in the center of everything. Maybe I should put the alert box a little more over there. There we go. It's probably a better idea, don't you think? I think so. Alright. Time for some Monday night stream. That's different. Not really. Alright, let's, let's Mr. Spock. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Zombified Siberia hi yai Joku 2 Catwalk. I think I was a little farther along than this, though. Welcome back. Thanks so much for the tier 1 sub. Welcome back aboard. Oh, yeah. the gate <laughs> yeah they're pretty rough they're also extremely difficult the freaking hovercraft aliens are very, very, very challenging. Uh, car, please. I'm feeling the pain of not having that freaking plane I had last time. Uh, 
Shotgun. Shotgun ammo. And... Machine gun. Ammo. Not a machine gun. Which, honestly, is actually a little worse. Um, the ammos are only worth 50, I believe? 50 bullets? Uh, the machine gun itself is worth 100. The large pickups, though, I think are better than both. I think they're like 150. Not that we ever find large pickups anymore. Yeah, I said that was another small. Also, not that I need the ammo. Like, I have 832 machine gun bullets after having just unleashed my machine gun like crazy in that fight. So. Elsa is a dog. Hey, that was a large shotgun pickup. Elsa is a dog. Yes, she really is. She is such a dog. Hello. Is this what I get? <laughs> is this what I get for singing about you? I sing about you and you're like, well, I'm going to come be part of the fun. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, mm -mm. not doing it. Screw that. That doesn't include ropes. Oh, so we did. I went outside. We we outsided for a little while. It's not my fault you didn't want to really play. I don't know. You gotta want to play when the want to play happens. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, the chat doesn't actually need to be fading anymore. Because I moved it. Last time, I didn't really mean for it to... I meant for it to not be fading. Or for it to be fading because it was like over the top of the, the game. But then I realized I have this big area over here. And the chat could just be over here. So it's just over there now. I don't know what I want to do with this. I I, I don't know. I, I keep going back and forth between um, using the stream layout I have and just not. And just having just the game and the camera and a chat in the corner. Um... I, I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't been able to decide. Oh, right. That useless, useless text. I forgot that this house is, like, exceedingly useless. I'm not sure if you have to talk to him. But I talked to him anyways. I'm not sure if you have to or not. But I did it got happened. That was really bad. Really freaking bad. I messed it up back there. I can't recover now. It's like it's over. That's it. No more no more no more songs. No more song lyrics to this one. Try again next time. Elsa. What are you doing? You behind Darp? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, you can't just, like, pick it up when you fail, right? When you fail it, you just gotta fail it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Here come the torpedoes! 
Okay, we got him. We got him. See, I still have 900 machine gun bullets. Oh, lordy! here again. <laughs> okay, apparently forward is the direction I need to go here. red lived <laughs> the red shirt survived to fight another day harvester wave detected ow hey So, really, when I was going through these, was there anything I actually needed in any of these houses? It was just ammo, mostly, right? Like, there was some machine gun ammo here and there. Like, there's some machine gun ammo. Some shotgun ammo that I kind of... I needed three bullets. Like, I don't think I really need to bother with these houses. I think they're just kind of a time sink right now that I don't really need. Like, I have plenty of shotgun shells, as in I have max. I have real close to max machine gun ammo right now still. Like, I, I don't... I think if we're, like, struggling for ammo, we can remember that this town was here and come back and get some ammo because there'll be some waiting for me in this town. I don't think we need to actually bother. I'm not sure, like I said before, it, during my little song that I failed at, I don't know if we need to talk to this guy or not, uh, but basically he's just saying that his scientist friend, or he's basically saying that he can't, he can't get a signal out beyond the shields, um, and his friend, his scientist friend over at the base might be able to help. And that's basically all he really has to say. Um, and then that's it. That, that, that's it. I don't know if he needs to tell you about his scientist friend before you can go there, though. Like sometimes these games, you know, you'll you'll head off in a direction and then you'll you'll find out. Oh, by the way, that you know that door is actually locked until you talk to this guy for no good goddamn reason.
Here we go. The tough thing. Like I said, the tough fight. Made it through though, just had to use a rocket. Actually, I had to use two, because the first one for some reason missed, but it's fine. I'd rather use my rockets and be out during a fight later on and have to figure out how to do it, than not make it to that fight at all, you know? All right, and then we find out that this guy over here has a plan his plan is take tank, kill enemies, get missile, bring missile back, destroy thing with missile. Why missile has to come back? I don't really know, to be honest. I don't really get that part of his plan. It's kind of dumb. Um, right, you can't go through that door until plan. But yeah, his plan is literally get tank, kill monsters, retrieve missile, fire missile. But, issue is... Uh, that is not tank. I went the wrong way. Issue isn't getting there with the tank. That's, that's the easy part. You just take the tank, you start shooting stuff. It's easy. Problem is, when you get into the thing, Missile itself is like in a big vehicle. It has like no fucking health. And like the moment you get into it, you you come under like pretty heavy fire actually. tanks like extreme lack of fuel I honestly think it's machine gun is better than it's main cannon.
Mostly for that exact reason right there. One the cats goes with. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Oh, God. So yeah, this was the problem spot. You get here and you're like, all right, I guess what I'm supposed to do now is jump in the missile, the missile tank, and drive it out of here, right? Problem is, the moment you start to do that, you come under attack. I think they destroyed the, I think they destroyed the thing. Yeah, see, look at how much health this damn thing has. Literally has, like, five hit points. moving it with the cannon. Alright. Round two.
There's like another one coming up right here, right? Yep, there he is. You know what? I was thinking I'd do this whole thing, this whole part without using another save state. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know when the enemies are coming. And I mean, I can watch my radar pretty well and react fairly decently, but... where he wants me to park this thing. All right, dude, I got your missile launcher. I hope you cleared enough aliens. Take the hangman B and retrieve the scud. Position it in the fenced off area to the east of the building to ensure a safe launch. Be careful, the missile does not like rough treatment. Wait, what? Dude, I, I drove it over here. Was I not supposed to drive it over here? <laughs> was, that, was that not what I was supposed to do? I drove it back. I was supposed to take the helicopter? How does the helicopter get the missile? Hold on, I wanna see how this works. Do I like land on it? No. Lifting vehicle. Oh. Did I... Oh, I still have it. Oh. 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 Well, this is a nightmare. Um... Holy fuck! God, I could not imagine having tried to do that the whole way over here. Honestly, I could not imagine having tried to like lift that thing and pull it all the way over here that way. That is so janky. Holy crap. There's no power to launch the missile. Come back later after you find out what's wrong from the radio operator. What? What are you talking about?
I feel like that wasn't very good translation, is what I feel like we just experienced there. This vehicle is locked. Okay, can I take this shitty ass hangman B back then? Because I'm assuming the radio operator is the guy we talked to before. Which I'm assuming that he was supposed to be like, we can't, I can't power the missile. There's no power. Go, go talk to the radio operator. He might know what's wrong. Please don't blow up my helicopter. way seems to be a bit of a problem. There. Alright, I don't know if we need to talk to him or not. I'm just gonna save state and assume I don't need to talk to him and go this way to try to talk to the radio operator, which is probably gonna spawn all those monsters. And that's kind of how we'll know, probably, maybe, that we didn't need to talk to him. We maybe needed to talk to him. We seem to be monsterless? Oh. Well, that's why we don't have power. Looks pretty cut and dry to me. <laughs> At the time, I was honestly pretty convinced. I was convinced there for a moment that we weren't going to be able to continue on. Because the monsters weren't spawning. So I was like, why, why are the monsters not spawning? I guess I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, but I think that I think the monsters literally spawned because I flew over it. <laughs> we have power again. The missile should be active now. Go back to the military base and see what you can do. Yeah, I will. In in a car. I'm gonna take your car. It it probably is gonna blow up, so don't be upset when it does. Yep, here they all come again. Look, it's this fight that spawns right here that we already fought once. Look, it's this other fight that spawns right here that we also already fought in a car once. Which means this is going to spawn as well? Yep. He must have hit it with one of his missiles. Woo! I saved the car. That's nice. Now if I have to go back, I'll still have the car. That's a good thing. That's a good. Oh, da, ba, da. Ba, 
Alright, so that, that whole no power thing, really, really kind of dumb. Just, it's, it was just kind of dumb. Like, it didn't, it didn't matter, you know? It didn't do anything. It didn't change anything. It just caused me to have to go back. Like, we should have just been able to park it and him be like, ah, good work. Take the firing code from the locker next door. Use the code to launch the missile at the radio station in Bandus. Bandensk. That should hit the bugs where it hurts. Yeah, because I saved the car. Missile launch code. Okay, so now for some reason I have to go back again? Is that what I'm understanding? We have to go use the radio equipment in a different town to launch this missile? You don't have the ability to launch it from your military installation? Wait, 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 wait. I have to go where I'm launching the missile? Take the firing code from the locker next door. Use the code to launch the missile at the radio station. Oh, okay. We're shooting the radio station event. Okay, I understand it now. How... How do I... How do I do that? <laughs> Didn't this have health? No, it had a shotgun. That has health. So does that. Everything has health. You never need it. No. You really don't. Right, there was health in here. The mess hall just has a, a chest with some jerky in it, and that, that jerky translates into health. You know, with all the health pickups in this game, and like how much damage you take, I can't help but wonder if they actually kind of intended for you to be able to like carry healing items in your inventory but they just never managed to program that in they never managed to program in like the ability to use items from your menu and so they don't they don't do it like because the, the one thing you can do that is like really probably not something you're you'd be aware of if you come in here and you go to like the machine gun and you press A on the machine gun and then you exit, you will apparently not. Actually, I thought you did, huh? I'm a lying out of my teeth. I legitimately thought that that worked.
Okay, um, we have to go clear the power again. Um... Okay, let me... <laughs> let me explain a little bit for those who might not have just instantly picked up on what just happened. <laughs> Got in the missile launcher. And I pressed fire and held the button down to activate the launch sequence and fire the missile. What I thought was hap about to happen was a cutscene. <laughs> so when the missile left the, the, the vehicle, I let go of the button. <laughs> Because I expected, you know, the expected outcome, which was a cutscene of the missile hitting the facility. Um, and so <laughs> the game then gave me control of the missile, expecting me to still be holding down the button apparently, as, like, the go button for the missile, <laughs> which I wasn't, um, and thus the missile plummeted directly into the ground, and I think we put a crater, um, where the military base used to be, um, my bad, uh, <laughs> Didn't expect that I'd have to manually control the missile. Kind of expected that it would just be like a missile would be, and that it was just targeting. Ah, shit. But I will say, um, the jerky comment, um, there's not actually jerky in that chest. It's not like, you don't open that chest and it'd be like, jerky! Like, that, that's not what happens. Um, that's just the mess hall, and there's a chest back next to the, um, next to, like, the cooking area. And so my, my, my joke is that it's, it's, it's a jerky, um, and that you get health. When you open the chest, you just get health, um... And so my joke was, oh, that's just jerky. Um, because it's in the mess hall. Okay. But the, the point still stands. There's a lot of health pickups in this game. Like, a lot of health pickups. Way more than you could possibly need. Which is the truth for the ammo pickups as well. Um, but I think health is doubly so. There is way more health than you could possibly use in this game. And I think that that has got to be because they intended for you to be able to equip it and use and use a health, like carry around, you know, an, a health bar's worth of health in your inventory. Okay, so... Yeah, and I mean, the, the the health pickups from the monsters might always have been planned, to be honest, because the game is kind of arcadey. Like, you get points and stuff like that. So the health pickups might always have been planned, but I feel like, just like how you can find fuel, I feel like they kind of maybe intended for you to be able to use the health that you find in treasure chests as, like, an inventory item. But it, it, it's hard to say. With games like this, like, you, you never know. But we are going to look up real fast the collectible guide that I've been using so far and look at where the alien artifacts are for Siberia because I didn't find fucking any of them. 
All right, so Siberia stage one has alien artifact one and, well, alien artifact 10 and weapon and a weapon crystal. I don't think I got either of those. Stage two also has a weapon crystal. And then stage four, which is I think where I am right now, has a weapon crystal, alien artifact 11 and alien artifact 12. Okay. The end of the tank section, you'll get into a place circled on the map is Vandisk. The bottom of the circle is a VTOL jet. If you go north past the VTOL jet, literally just a few feet and then go west, you'll see a lone building surrounded by, by checkered walls. Go inside and find a crystal in the chest. I, this is what I was thinking. I think we need to do this before we blow up Vandesk. This is why I wanted to look. Still in Vandesk and looking at the map, top center of the Vandesk circle is a radio building. It's white and has huge bulbous transmitter receiver on the top. And it's up a hill right against the North Shield Wall. Go inside and the artifact is... Yeah, we're literally trying to blow that up. So the artifact is in, in the building that I am supposed to be blowing up right now. This is why I wanted to look this up. Is because I was thinking this is the perfect place for them to hide stuff that we could permanently miss. So we need to fly our asses over to Van Minsk. Hopefully we make it. Oh boy. There's the weapon crystal that it was talking about. Oh my god, my health! And I'm dead. Alright, so we apparently need to be more worried about dying than this helicopter going boom. Can I use this VTOL? No. No. No, apparently no. Um, excuse me, what? This is me currently trying to go around the spawns. Ugh. 
<laughs> oh man. What just happened? It just. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright. Due to what just happened the last time we tried to jump into this VTOL. <laughs> uh oh, here they come. They were on the map. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we should have two weapon crystals. We do. And one of three of the alien artifacts. We can get the rest. I just don't know where they are. Give me a second with the with this here. All right, center of E4. Now that we have the VTOL, we can get the last collectible easily. Fly back to the town with the first harvester wave in the stage, Zvago. And south of it are some houses on a hill. Land and go in the big house with the green door and walk back to the wall and it should open. You can't, you can't get through though, as there's another wall behind it blocking your way. And then there's a little puzzle for that. It does fly like a copter and it flies like ass. And then we have to go all the way back to Siberia stage one. To get the last of this, the last of the stuff. Which I guess we should. This plane is literally ass. I do not like this, this plane at all. The VTOL sucks. This is nothing but irritating. biggest problem with it is that you cannot aim its weaponry. Like, if I hold the aim button down, nothing happens. I just keep going at the speed I was going, and then I can't I can't aim it at all. It just fires. So all of its aiming has to be done with what moves you back and forth, unfortunately. 
because you move back and forth by tilting it. So really the best way to aim at things like this is just to lower it. Just to go down and hope that you're right in front of them. It's it's bad. It's a very bad I mean, at least Rogue Squadron, though, like, the aiming in Rogue Squadron isn't, like, great, but you you fly in full 360, right? Like, and you don't just press forward to go forward, which is how this works. I press forward to go forward. It's really powerful, but it's just so impossibly stupid to control that it's hard to really give a shit about its power. This copper. This copper's BS. Fucking copper. Guy here, copper. We don't need your kind around here, copper. <laughs> Speaking of coppers, though, um, I'm going to save real fast. Um, I actually just watched, uh, just rewatched all of Stranger Things 1, which some people would definitely coin as being absolutely the best of Stranger Things. Um, to which I can't say that you're wrong. I actually think season one is the strongest season as well. But, um, I really enjoyed it still. It's still really good. I, 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 I. I do not think that my saying as often as I've said it, which actually ha I have not, I have really like sung Stranger Things as uh, phrases too much. Um, I, th I think that Stranger Things is definitely one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Um, for sure. Yeah, I, I like all of it myself. I think that all of Stranger Things is really good. Um, I just don't think I've actually ever really sung the praises for anything other than like season one. Huh. This isn't as good of a position as I thought it would be. Unfortunately, to get these collectibles, we need to go all the way up to D7 and E7 on the map. So if you look at the map, we got numbers up here. Seven's right there. But D is like, D and E are right here. So we need to go right there in that little middle, that little middle yellow square that's on the line. We need to go to that. Um, which I actually think would have been easier from the ship. To be honest. Rather than the boat. So we're gonna warp like four times. But yeah, I'm re-watching it because of uh, season four coming out soon. Uh, season four is out on the 27th of May. Uh, I believe that... I was told it's only like half of it. It's not the whole season. It's only going to be like half the season.
Um, so yeah. The new Coke. Yeah. I mean... They're all great characters, though. Actually, one of my favorite characters is one that you, like... You really kind of don't like for the... For the majority of Season 1. Until, like, really close to the end of Season 1, he finally starts to get his shit together and realize that, you know, maybe his friends are kind of assholes. <laughs> Which is, uh, Steve. Steve turns out to be, like, one of my favorite characters in the entire show. Especially in the later seasons. Which is fun, because, you know, early on, Steve is... Steve is, uh... Not really what I would call likable. He's kind of just, you know, an 80s douchebag <laughs> at the beginning of the season. Like, he's he's just kind of a douche. He's, you know, making fun of everybody, being popular. But then he, like, he comes... He comes around really well, and like his his like his redemption at the end of season one is like really good. Okay, how do we get to this? You know what? I actually think I did need the boat. I think I had to land there with the boat. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, driving back. I think I needed to land there. Oops. Bang! zombie plot like happened but it's just been like dismissed since then like the zombie plot was a thing but now it's just it's gone it's over we don't really care about it anymore up 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 da da All right, don't run out of fuel, boat. I don't want to have to waste a... I did go into this house though. Oh, maybe I didn't. Ah! Well, we found the weapon crystal. Alexi's journal, 29th of March. Strange blue walls are appearing all around the area. My trip cannot be delayed. I must find out what is happening. Alexi's journal, 28th of March. In the river this morning, I found a large crystal. 
It glows with strange power. I might use it in my bride's ring. Must pack for tomorrow. Alexi's journal, 27th of March. Only two days now before I move to America. America! To meet my bride. I must practice my English so it, so it is being perfect for her. <laughs> yeah, you probably should get practicing. I know, I'm a freaking weirdo. And everybody, be nice on the internet. Be nice, YouTube comments. I don't really like Kingdom Hearts 2. If I'm being honest. It's just, I feel like if the game did not include the uh, triangle reaction commands. Is this really what I'm supposed to do? I feel like if it didn't include those tri the triangle, the press triangle to fuck this enemy up, reaction commands, I would like the game. Like, to be perfectly honest, I honestly think that's the only thing that keeps me from disliking or from liking Kingdom Hearts 2. But the the pressing triangle to re the the triangle pressing reaction commands are such an integral part of how you play that game that it just ruins it for me. How the hell do I get there without a plane? I honestly don't know. Something dramatic will happen with a train in the very north. There's a hovercraft nearby. Get in it and drive south to the water. Now keep going south down the down the middle of the water, counting the icebergs. They appear on, on the map, too. Oddly, a square yellow building out in the sea. Yeah, I, I thought it was rain, too. When you get to the third iceberg, stop. There's an opening high up in the mountain to your left that you can get to in the hovercraft. You just need enough speed. Oh. Okay, so you don't have to be able to fly. You can do it with the hovercraft. Uh, is there another hovercraft? The hovercraft is probably back over here. I'm a little afraid to drive this, but... Oh. Well, shit. On foot it is, I guess. I 
still honestly argue that Kingdom Hearts 1 is fine. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 has a couple of areas that aren't that great, that aren't that well designed, um, unless you know what to do. Um, and the big one that comes to mind for that, that really does hurt the game, and I will never try to argue that it doesn't, is uh, Wonderland. Wonderland is really, really stupidly designed. It's very bad for people who don't already know what to do. Like, very bad. Um, and it needs... But if you just open a walkthrough, and you play that area with a walkthrough, and then you play the rest of the game, vanilla, that game is fine. It really honestly is. Even, yes, even Atlantica is, is fine. It really isn't as bad as everyone remembers. It's really honestly not. Now, the boss is as bad as everyone remembers. Um, but that's mostly just difficulty. Um, I wouldn't say that that's because... Isn't Evil Twin a Body Harvest guy just the dark part of regular Body Harvest guy's heart? He might be. We really, we really can't be sure, actually. Oh, I need to go south. He might, in fact, be me. So, I actually, that's actually my current... My current theory is that because there's a whole bunch of time travel involved, he's actually going to be us. Ah, we didn't quite make it. We needed more speed! Alright! Did it! Oh, hey! Oh. Well, that's goofy. But I'm used to this game being goofy like that already. Dun, 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 dun. Alien artifact. Got all of them now. We have all of them. Every single one. We have them all. Yes, I have all of them. What do they do? What 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 do they do? Oh. We also have this. What is it this time? The disruptor. Oh. <laughs> what? Why did it go off to the right? Why was it like pew? <laughs> there was some 1970s bad graphics right there. That's like what you expect to see in like Star Trek. <laughs> like that's like it looked like seriously like somebody using like a model and the model just kind of veering off. <laughs> that was so so derpy. Oh, this game. The treat. <laughs> it's just a Gosh darn treat. Alright. We have all the collectibles. So now... Now that we have all the collectibles... We're as ready as we could possibly be... To go launch this missile. And get ourselves into some real shit. Mini harvest! <laughs> oh no... Phone typing. It's not officially called Biddy Harvest. <laughs> Harvesting all those biddies. 
Thanks so much for the 15 biddies, by the way. It used to be booty harvest. Yeah, it did. It's true. It's not booty harvest anymore, though. All right. Okay, holy freaking moly. Save the state <laughs> before I fuck this up. Okay, let me explain. So it turns out, you don't hold down the fire button. What it turns out is, is that you actually hold down the A button. But allow me to point out that the A button is not what you hold to fire. It's actually what you hold to go up to go to go forward he would say so i must question why why would i be holding the go forward button when launching the missile the way this missile is designed okay the way this missile is designed it is designed in such a way that you will blow yourself up <laughs> They wanted the user to blow themselves up. I promise. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I guarantee it. They really did. They wanted you to go boom. <laughs> this was planned. Okay, so I don't actually have to hold the button down anymore. Oh, shit. Good work. The processor has appeared to the east of your position. Check your map for the exact location. Oh god! Get in the beetle! How are you supposed to know you have to fly it? You don't. That was why I blew up with the missile the first time I used it. Um, is because the first time I used it, I thought that I wasn't, that it was just going to be a cutscene. And then it wasn't. Um... Holy crap. What a fight. Oh yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yes, I know. And 
I'm very dead. Wow. Gotta fly this big Burger King straw. Please tell me this tank is no longer locked. Good. Good thing I didn't need that that thing anymore. <laughs> I mean, isn't it though? It's just a big BK straw. <laughs> red and yellow lines on top it just looked like a big fucking burger king straw that's what it looked like to me <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know if where i mean i i live in in america in america uh not with a k though i don't know where that is but um yeah, so anybody who watches this on the YouTubes, if you don't live somewhere where there's a Burger King, then McDonald's. I mean, I am assuming you have straws. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, straws haven't looked that way in like forever, though. It's been like since I was a young kid that straws. I don't remember straws looking like that. I don't know how long it's been. They, they just don't anymore, though, like at all, period. Do we even straw anymore? I feel like we don't really. I feel like straws are, straws in general are just kind of like old news now, you know? Is it just like up over here? It's just like hanging out? What the hell? So it wasn't here and now it is? Is that what I am to believe? God. God. This tank seems rather impervious. I'm taking no damage. Like it's doing no damage to me at all. Like. Uh-oh. Are they taking my ship hostage? Bosses are destroyed. No people killed, no people harvested. Siberia stage four, total score, 6960050. Alert! Alpha Command is under attack. Shields are at 60% and falling. I suggest you return to base immediately. I'm on my way.
tri triumphant music. Triumphant music amassed. I don't have enough fuel in the tank to make it unless I load load it up with more fuel, but maybe I can use this helicopter now. I mean, I need to get back to them like ASAP, so yes, I can. Okay. Okay, it has a machine gun. And missile launchers, so that's that's good. much health so I'm a little concerned about that but does it aim at all no it's also fairly slow if I'm being honest Where did you just... Did you just launch a status beacon somewhere I can't get because, like, way back over where I started? Malfunction. The beacon will be sent to the previous processor position. Okay. Destroy the shield generator and free this area. she where did she go now where has she gone was she an alien or maybe is she now maybe she's a zombie she really really could be Different if she was. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about this, dude. This seems a little bit suspect to me. Let's run back to that tank. I'm gonna fuel it up. And then we're gonna take the tank back through this little hole and go to the shield generator on from this side with the tank. Because it's tank. Like, I don't know what 
else you want out of that one. The only thing I'd like to do is before I fuel it up, I'd like to make sure it can. What are you doing? God. <laughs> I'd like to make sure that it actually can get back through the shield wall. I don't know exactly how to get to it, but the portal is right up there. Which I guess is a good point. How the hell do I get to that? I think I might actually have to take the VTOL. Which kind of sucks, but I think I do. Let's see another way over here. Yep. Nope. Just got a veto. All right. Well, veto it is. I stayed saved, so that's kind of why I reloaded. It's okay, because I believe that even though this will have reset the vehicles, I believe there's a VTOL right here. So we can use this one. Which I will state save, so that we don't have to run back to it again. Even though I used a speed button to run over here. Now we won't have to do even that again. We just have another VTOL. Which isn't half health, so that's kind of unpleasant. Whoa! I got one shot! Instant murderized. I was trying to get to the tank because there was a tank, and that would have been better.
you know, with how much just just pure damage this tank can take, like legitimately, this tank I I can take so much damage. Oh the hell do the humans lose? I mean, they don't, right? The humans are making the monsters, so it's... But... These tanks are insanely good. Who's ready for boss four? One. Wait, but you weren't on board. Oh my god! Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Here we go. Round two. Fight. There's a lot of bees. You're probably right.
probably should change that. I haven't changed that yet, though. That is actually a YouTube subscription. So thank you, person who just subscribed from YouTube. Uh, fair amount. We, during this video, we had a YouTube subscription from, uh, from Fairmount. Thanks much. Hope you enjoy the new content. I'm not streaming on YouTube. It's very, very circumstantial that that, 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 that happened. <laughs> And yeah, the bosses of this game are really hard. Like, not e like, legit. They're like, legit, real, real challenging. They're very fun. I actually really like the, the bosses in this game. They are hella fun fights. They do a really good job of showing how um, vehicle-based games were like, much, much different and actually quite Quite a bit more fun in the N64 and PS1 era. Um, I haven't played a game that's like really like very vehicle based in a really long time. And when I try to like think of like, well, what are the other vehicle based games that I could be playing on newer consoles? I actually can't think of any. So I'm not really sure like, like, cause I mean, there's probably some newer Twisted Metals, probably, that came out later. Like, but I, I can't think of any games where, like, ve the being in a vehicle is the primary focus. Like, that's, that's how you do the goods. No, no, no! No, 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 no. More frack in. Okay. I mean, battle takes totally counts. Battle tanks totally counts. I love battle tanks, but like, none of those are new, right? Even Clone Wars is a GameCube game. Like, the only like heavy vehicle-based games I can think of are Battlefield to some extent. The Battlefield games are kind of vehicle-based. Um. No, because we haven't gotten, like, a new Star Wars game that's, like, all... We have the latest Rogue Squadron, maybe? But I don't remember even when that came out. Halo's not that vehicle-based. I mean, it is, but it's not. Halo's as vehicle-based as Battlefield is. So I guess if you're gonna say Battlefield, then Halo... I, I mean, I guess I agree with the I guess, but... Like, this game is very heavy on the vehicles, right? Like, you're always in a vehicle in this game. What's next? Year 2000? Primary objective complete. Coordinates for next objective selected. Alien Comet. The year 2016. The far-flung future of 2000. 16. Do you imagine how awesome this would be if you were a kid from the 90s? <laughs> we're going to fucking 2016! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, does it just transform into Alpha 1 right away? Oh, cool. Okay. Mission Directive. Locate and rescue Mistress Daisy. Warning. Enormous alien presence detected.
I I need a minute. Am I Mario? D this just became Rescue Princess Daisy. I know they said mistress, not princess. I know. No. But. <laughs> Also know that my inventory is gone. I have no inventory anymore. So what do the alien artifacts do? Hold on. Does this collection guide tell me what they do? Oh, did you know you could put waypoints on the map? I didn't. Collecting all the alien artifacts in a time period will let you practice the boss for that time period. Access this by selecting your save, then options, then replay level, then replay boss. The boss fights are pretty epic and a lot of fun. Useful pe pe it's a useful feature for people that speedrun the game too. No, not warp points, but waypoints. So if we come over, come over to the map, we can apparently, we can press R, yeah, and it'll put a little triangle. And then when we exit the map, that gives us an arrow that points to the waypoint. so we can see where that waypoint we put down is. So getting all the alien artifacts for a specific stage lets you fight that boss in stage select. So you can do boss rush for yourself. You can fight the boss anytime you want on your fire. If you get all if you get the alien artifacts for a given stage. That's what they do. So all this time that I've been collecting those, technically kinda useless, because I'm probably not going to be keeping the final or anything. It's not on my actual cartridge. But good to know for the future if I ever decide to sit down and play this for myself on my N64, which I am working towards making my actual N64 capturable. For those of you who are like, oh, but blah, blah, blah. you're using emulators. Blah, 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 blah. I don't like people who use emulators. Blah, 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 blah. Um, if you're one of those people, you know, hey, more power to you. I'm glad that you enjoy not using emulators in your life. Um, but if you're not one of those people, um, then, you know, that's cool. Um, <laughs> that's, that's cool too. Uh, but either way, I am working on a, figuring out a way to get my N64 capturable. I want to try to use the OSSC that I already spent a lot of money on, um, but I don't have the proper cables and I'm not sure what I need 
Um, I keep reading online that I might actually need a... Oh. Oh, look at that. I keep reading online that I might actually need to mod the N64 um, in order to use the OSSC, which does not sound fun to me. Um, but unfortunately, the other solution that I found is something called a Super 64, uh, like a Super 64, I think is what it's called, uh, which is a little plug and play dongle that you can stick into the back of your N64. Um, it goes into the, the, the standard composite, or not composite, the standard slot that you plug the TV in from. I don't know what it's called. I don't know these things very well. Um, but it goes into that slot. Um, and it's literally just a HDMI uh, upscaler. It's like the one I have for the for my GameCube. My GameCube has the same thing. Into its slot, I just plug this little device in. It's about this big. Um, and then you plug an HDMI. It has an HDMI port on, on it. HDMI port on it. You plug an HDMI port in. And boom, bang, boom, bam, you have upscaled GameCube. Um, that's how my GameCube works right now, um, which is how I could play GameCube games. So my GameCube, if, if there's a GameCube game that you would like to see, feel free to suggest it. Um, I can, in fact, stream GameCube games. Um, Uh, I can also very easily stream, stream PS2. I have, a, once I realized this, I realized I have a lot of PS2 games that I would actually kind of like to stream. Um, so it kind of became a thing where I was like, huh, I should probably consider doing that. Um, play me. Well, I did say you can suggest me. I didn't say that I'd do it. <laughs> actually, on GameCube, the big game that comes to mind... Actually, I wouldn't even need to play that on GameCube, though. Never mind. <laughs> I was actually about to say I could play, I could play through Resident Evil Zero on stream as a Let's Play. Um, and then I realized, wait. Help me. I managed to escape, but I need your help. I'm broadcasting my position. It should appear on your map. Help me, Adam. You're my only hope. You don't think it'd work on your 4K? Does it not work on 4K TVs? Or just like yours specifically? It, it, it outputs 480p is what it outputs. So we got our Star Wars reference in for the day. stuck. just want a solution that just works you know that's my thing I don't I don't really I read about the retro tank um I didn't look into it too much Daisy's distress signal was coming from here I didn't look into the retro tank too much myself um I I just want something that I can plug in to the N64 and then plug it in, either plug it into the OSSC that I have and it just work or plug it in to the TV via just HDMI cable and it just work. That's what I want. 
I want it to just work. I don't want to have to mod something. I don't want to have to learn a bunch of tech crap. I don't know any of that stuff. I'm not good at that stuff. It doesn't, it frustrates me and I don't want to deal with it. I just want something I plug it in and it gets plugged into the thing. And then we push the buttons and it just works. <laughs> you know? Um, that's what I have for my GameCube. That's what I have for, for my PS2 now. Um, it's, uh, I actually have lots of ways to do SNES, um, and Sega and NES. Um, although my Sega and my NES and my Super NES, um, are all actually now the minis is how I'm doing all of those. Uh, which isn't, no, it's not limited to just what's on the minis. I have modded mine to heck and back. Um, but that's easy modding. That's literally just programming. I can do the program stuff. I can run programs on my computer. I'm not, I'm good at that. <laughs> so those were easy. Um, the N64 mod is a lot harder because the problem with the N64 uh, for the OSSC is apparently that it doesn't output um, VGA, I think it's called, or RGB, something like that. It doesn't output that. It, it outputs like one lower than that. Like S video is the best you can get out of it. Um, woo! Need a better weapon. Can't just go this way. Despite it kind of looking like I should be able to. Watch this, guys. I got this shit. I might not, so I'm gonna save state. Oh no, control war. Oh no, control war. Control war. You died. Your battery went boop and you died. Come back to us, controller. Oh no, controller. Controller. No. <laughs> Shit. Well, good thing I just save stated. could do that again. Where's my mouse? Because I gotta restart the emulator because it doesn't understand that there's a new controller. It doesn't understand that the controller is actually still plugged in. And at least I think it is. There we go. Okay, we're back. We made it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it didn't happen. Oh God, I'm stuck. Oh God. 
don't get stuck. Moral of the story, don't get stuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Torpedoes at me. I'm not actually sure if I'm even supposed to go this way at this point. To be perfectly honest. Holy crap. Oh my god, these freaking flying things. My god, this stupid flying thing is pissing me off. Go away. Oh my lord in heaven. Resonator. More missiles. I 
four missiles. Okay, I gotta be looking real, real hot on missiles. Yes, I have 118 missiles. That's pretty hot. Let's save state. Oh, because every pickup is 15. No, I haven't. And that that was one I was thinking about, but I don't know. I have a lot of games to play, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm really, truly ready to stream um, if I really want to stream something that I've already played all the way through before. Because, um, yes, it's true I had played this before, but I've never beaten Bobby Harvest. So while it is true that, yes, I have played Body Harvest before, this isn't a fully fresh playthrough. I would say that a good 70% of it was, was a fresh playthrough. And I do have lots of games that I still want to try to play through um, from the olden days. So, Fable is a possible near future game, yes. see Fable in the near future. Damn it. I thought about actually starting Fable tonight. Um, instead of just doing more Body Harvest. But then... I, I just was like, oh, I'll just do Body Harvest. Which we might actually not finish tonight anyways, so might have to there might have to be one more episode of this. We'll see how much longer this area takes. This final this finale here. Kind of kicking my butt so far, so. Alright, 
this next fight right here is pretty rough. I might want to consider not using the missiles here. They just don't do that much damage. Ow! Miss... I don't know, man. This is rough. Um, I'm gonna use... I'm actually gonna use this on this thing. I'm just gonna resonate this one. Okay, the resonator doesn't take them out either. Wow, the resonator barely even deals damage to him. other stuff planned planned though um i may even go to the game that i was going to play if i didn't play body harvest because i had a plan for if if i couldn't get body harvest working i had another game that i was going to try to get working um like before i even started body harvest that might also get played um it's another n64 game there's actually two other N64 games I'd like to play. Um, one of them is a game I actually think I have beaten before. Um, but so many of the people I know don't really know about it. Um, and typically think I'm making jokes when I talk about it. Um, some health. I think we might actually make it out of there. Holy crap, we made it out. Ah, I didn't get that health though. Alright, I don't know if I've mentioned that driving this thing is a pain in the ass or not, um, but driving this thing is a pain in the ass. For anybody who didn't know, drives like any other hover tank unfortunately which means that it like drifts um i don't i don't know if i've properly explained how the hover tanks work in this game but suffice it to say it's not good um I just blew myself up with that plasma bomb. I did not realize what I was about to start firing. It's hard to explain how badly these things uh, these things work, though. Oh, 
But they're they're real they're real bad. Just just take my word take my word for it. The the hover tanks in this game. Like, okay, I'll try to ex I'll try to explain it like this. So I'm oh shit. I'm moving forward, and then if I turn and aim, I'm not moving at all anymore. I'm not pushing the button. We're just drifting from that little bit of momentum I got. Right? So, that that's what I mean by, like, they drift real bad. Like, it's nasty. It's, it's a nasty amount of drift on these things. And the thing is, is that it, it, it continues going in whatever direction you were going at the time. So if I was going south and I turn around completely, I will still be going south. And the only way for me to like stop this, ow, 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 ow. Oh, good. Is to basically give myself momentum in the opposite direction that I'm going. So it's kind of like always flying like a land space vehicle. Is kind of how the the hovercraft the hovercrafts work. Because they don't typically have any uh They don't typically have a whole lot of like friction to stop them over time. They just kind of hover around everywhere. Yeah. Where am I going? Why did it have a signal out there? I placed my little marker right there. That's where I placed my marker. I was trying to follow my little marker arrow, but it was like not going the right way and I was like what the hell this 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 sucks this little section of the map right here sucks okay so we need to go like down over here taking damage though. This game's terrain is just fucking the worst. It's so annoying. Hovercraft! 
Please! No! No! Oh, okay. What is this? I don't know. I'm blowing it up. Yeah. as a save point. Sentimental fool! You have fallen into my trap! The girl is still our prisoner, and you are about to experience my wrath! Destroy him! Oh god. That's all you got. I think you need more. I think you need better dudes. Uh, no, I want the frag cannon more than the missiles. Thank you. I mean, missiles are good too, but frag cannon. No drops? No, none? No drop? No drop drops? Uh oh. Something spawned. Don't know what. Oh god! You know, I actually really enjoyed earlier, earlier, I think it was, I believe it was this stream, actually. It was either this stream or last stream, but I think it was this stream, uh, when somebody was like, I'm really happy to see you playing this game live, this is my favorite N64 game. Like, the fact that this is someone's favorite N64 game just warms my heart. <laughs> Because having played it all the way through now, like, I can totally see how this might be someone's favorite on 64 game. And I really, I just really like that. I just, I really, I really like that this is, this is in fact someone's favorite on 64 game. Because, like, nobody freaking knows about this game. Like, 
<laughs> kidding me? This game is at best a cult classic, you know? Like, at best, it's got a cult following. But it's such a it's such a good game. It's really fun. It's derpy as heck. I mean, you know, doing face plants and stuff. And nobody's ever seen that one. <laughs> nope. No one's ever seen Banjo Kazooie. It's just not a thing. My sensors detect humanoid life form. It could be DAISY, in all caps. ALERT! Sensors show life signs fading rapidly. Proceed to the alien city at once. I'm... I'm... I'm going. What the heck are we fighting now? They lock on lightning laser beams. God damn, they're torpedoes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, the torpedo launcher's back. Oh my god, they respawned. Get out of here. Your vampire bat thing. Am I blowing up? I don't know. What do I get from it? Like me, some of the weapon that I'm pretty sure a hundred is max on. Yep, we can only have a hundred frag cannons, so we have full frag cannon, which means I really don't need to destroy these because I already have full frag cannon. Watch this. Save state. We're going north. Yeah, Alpha One doesn't use fuel. Oh my god! We 
hell! <laughs> There's so many! <laughs> Alright, we're going north. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Problem is, is I don't know where to go now that I'm north. <laughs> it looks like I needed to turn Like right here. Shit, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, hold on. Looks like that's where you have to turn and then you have to go up right there. Is what it looks like to me. Unless these acrid processors matter, then I need to be destroying them along the way. Which is possible. I just know that going at this like two steps at a time is gonna be real slow and real hard. Jeez, even with me kind of trying to go a little bit more careful. They are vampire bats. They're, they are actually draining energy. They get health back while they're attacking me. Okay. I think there's two more of these acrid processors. I don't know if we need to destroy them or not. That is a lot of enemies that just spawn right there. Um, 
Whoa, what the hell? Ah! Okay, yeah, there's one more north of me. They're marked on the map, which makes me think they're important. idea if that mattered At the very least it got me more plasma bombs which are probably good This seems like a terrible idea. alive, but I'm totally down to accept it. Please give me more resonator ammo. Yes, please. Yes, please. Actually, kind of low on missiles. Blow up. Um, 
Um. Asking you shall receive, I guess. Uh, Ammo City out here. Am I full on resonator? I don't know. Oh shit! It was definitely the wrong weapon. No, I'm not for the resonator. I'm just guessing, but it's probably 30. I have 24. Give me all the ammo. I'm guessing that's 200, but I'm at 147 on the missiles. Full van, it's also. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh god. Less than fun. And by less than fun, I mean loads of fun, actually. It's fun to, to, to blow these things up. Blow up these monsters. probably need to save the rest of this for the next stream, but that probably means that the next stream is going to be two streams? Um, which would be Thursday night, the planned, scheduled one. Um, it's probably going to end up being two streams, because it's probably going to be the finale of this and then the start of the next one is probably what the next stream is going to be. I was thinking that if 1030 rolled around and I hadn't I hadn't finished this up yet I was gonna have to uh, quit it looks like it looks to me like right there is another save point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save state and we're gonna go for that save point It's just kind of a guess, but it sort of looks like it probably is. Get one of them there, double drops. What is that?
Yeah, we haven't destroyed one of those yet. Something new to blow up. Can I not blow it up? I might not actually be able to blow it up. Two double drops. Not gonna say no to that. Even though I'm probably gonna fall off this freaking. thing does not drive well enough for this bullshit. Get over the mountain. He can't do it. He's trying. He wants to, but he can't do it. All right, game saved. We're also gonna stay saved because fucking why not? But game saved. So when we come back. Probably, probably the exciting conclusion of Body Quest. Yeah, I'm, yep, I'm, yep, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, and then uh, if there's time in the next stream, there will also probably be um, some other, some other game as well. Um, but it's very unlikely that I will stream on Wednesday uh, to finish this, so it's probably gonna be Thursday night like it's normally scheduled. Um, that's, that's what I would say is most likely. So, take it easy, everybody, and, uh, I hope to see you there if you wanna be. If you don't and you just watch this in the future, I hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you so much for everybody on YouTube, uh, getting good feedback from this stuff. It makes me feel pretty good about it. Um, and, uh, it's always nice to hear that people are enjoying, so hopefully you are. And, uh, take it easy. When it happens, it happens. And I'll see you all then. Bye.